Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, if you can see behind me, doing a little fishing. Hopefully I'll catch something. Still not sure what we're going to do tomorrow, but Monkey had a party to go to for her grandson's a birthday party. So I decided to come out and go fishing for a while. And she dropped me off, and so hopefully we'll catch something. And people over here next, next to me on the dock I've seen them bring in a couple fish, so uh, I think they're using shiners or shad, so I'm just using some chicken livers and chicken gizzards, so haven't had a bite yet, so let's see what happens, right? guys I got one on here looks like I got a gar on here there we go and he's tangled up my other line Okay guys, I got him on the chicken liver, and he's tangled up my other line. Pretty cool, hey? Alright, I'm going to try to get these things untangled here, and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, measure the hem. That 36 inches here. About 36 and a quarter. About 36 and a quarter inch long. And these things are mean. They got big old teeth. I had to cut the line. So now Go move my pole see if I can get him back in the water. Beautiful looking fish. Man. There's the fishing rod. So yeah. Great fish. There's his teeth. <laughs> I 
this or not. Nice looking fish. There's his tea. Alright, I'm gonna put him back in the water. First gar I've ever caught in my life. So, this should be pretty cool. I got this damn filter on and there we go. So, see if I can catch any more. Pretty cool. I'm catfishing, catch a gar. <laughs> awesome. Okay guys, <clears throat> so as you can see, just caught a gar. They're hitting in here. But that's it. That's the one, first one I brought in. First gar I've ever caught in my life. I caught that on monkey's paw. I caught it with chicken gizzards, not the lizard. Lizard, not the liver. I uh, so what I did, I had to cut the line and get it untangled from him, get the hook out of him. So I'm back in the water. I'm all rigged up, baited up, ready for number two. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, guys, so I moved over here to the dock, and I still cast it. I caught that one with monkey's pole, so I caught it on gizzards. I still cast it over about to where I was when I was over here. I was over here on the other side here. That, that wall. I'm sitting right in front of it, but there it is. So, I got this one, mine on chicken liver. And um, I've got it. I've got it out about 10 or 15 yards. I got this one over about where I was when I caught the gar. I forgot the flashlight. So, but I got the big light on here. I got my trust, trusty lantern. So, I should have plenty of light. Also, have night vision in case I catch something and it's dark, but have to see got these guys this guy here with his paddle pontoon boat it's not homemade it's factory made um, I forget what they call it a cycle something got his kids out here that's pretty cool so uh, anyway I'll kick you back on if I catch another fish okay guys as you can see it's getting dark it's 726 moved over here at the dock I haven't had any bites they were biting over there but still early yet hopefully I'll get another gar I got my light on my uh, got the lantern on so I can see the tips of my poles I can see what I'm doing we're good so hopefully catfish or gar will start biting so if I had a buck or something I would have took the gar home but I didn't bring anything so oh well at least I got video of it right hopefully I do okay guys so I'm sitting here it's you got a bite might be the current it is it's actually pretty chilly uh, 7.44. Still haven't had a bite. Other people finally... My pole's going like this. I think it's the current. Other people finally left. It's always my luck, you know, whenever someone gets ready to leave and they're leaving and someone else is pulling in. They've always got kids. Well, these kids wasn't that bad, but still they're talking and banging stuff around. And that's kind of like when it's nighttime, it's my favorite time to fish. And uh, 
I just kind of like to sit and enjoy, you know, and, and uh, turn my other light on here. For a minute. Man, that thing's bright. It's all the way down, too. <laughs> Man, that thing is bright. There we go. So, yeah, just, uh, just doing a little fishing, hanging out. Friday night fishing. I still don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. So, I mean, I am going to do a live stream, but I don't know where or what. Uh, it is a full moon, so that, that'll that be cool. And turn this big light on. Bugs come and get me. So, not sure. We was going to go to that hotel. There's a hotel over in Crystal River, but it is... Um, It's supposed to be haunted, but everybody's saying there were slaves there and stuff, but that's impossible, and I'll tell you why. The first thing that gave away, as soon as I went to the website, it said replica plantation. <laughs> so number one, it's not a real plantation. Number two, I know there wasn't uh, slaves there. Everybody's saying, oh yeah, there were slaves there. There had to have been. No, there wasn't because it wasn't built until 1962, so they're about 100 and, you know, almost 150 years off, so, so I don't know, so we kind of, you know, didn't want, I mean, we'll stay there sometime, because it's real pretty, it's really nice, and, uh, we can park the boat right there at the hotel, but, um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, man, I, I'm sure I'll do a live stream, but I don't know what about. So let me set this light off, man. This thing, can't really see my pole with this thing shining on me. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm going. That one was pulling my rod. Maybe I better turn you back on here. If you can see my rod or not it was pulling it but I think it just stopped hitting I don't know if you heard it or not so yeah I caught that that gar on her pole now I'm getting a hit on this one ordered a couple new reels I found a Zebco 33 a vintage Zebco 33 so ordered it I got her a Zebco 33 see there it goes uh, it's got bite alert on it you get a bite it lights up and and starts beeping ah uh, jumped the gun on that one it's probably gone now maybe not Still something hitting on it. That's the way that uh, gar was hitting. Like I said, I never caught a gar, so I wasn't, you know, I didn't know what to, what to look for. So yeah, I mean, I'll give her another cast. Uh, but yeah, that's the way it hit. And fine, I mean, it jumped. I don't know if you caught, if you seen it, but you probably heard it. It jumped up out of the water pretty good. Uh, pretty good fighting fish. But they're so thin, you know, it just kind of came right through the water. But he was fighting. And you, <laughs> you can hear, I don't know if you heard that guy. 
Agar! <laughs> when it flopped up out of the water, he said, Agar! <laughs> so. Alright. I'm going to kick you back off. And I'll kick you back on here in just a second. Or, well, it'll be a second for you. It's probably going to be a little while for me. Uh, and I'll, uh, as soon as I get another bite. My pole, I haven't had a bite since I've been over here. So, <laughs> we'll see. Here we go again. Something keeps hitting it and then kind of like dropping it. So I don't know what's doing it. Oh, can you see that? Maybe if I Put you on night vision. I don't think that helped much. No, nope, I don't think it helped at all. All right, so. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait until I get something on here. And I'll kick you on because it's biting. Whatever it is, it's biting. I'm not getting a bite on the other one, but I'm getting a bite on hers. So, see what's happening. You got a great full moon out tonight. It is beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. Monkey all like that. Beautiful. This is in a little bit more. Amazing. Beautiful guys. Beautiful night. A little chilly though, but still nice out. Okay guys. Monkey just pulled in. It is 9.20. So... I don't know if she wants to do any fishing or not. But we'll see. If she gets down here, she just parked the truck, so. Getting a couple bites, nothing major. Hey right, guys, so that's my Friday fishing vlog, Shea Bear fishing thing. Monkey came and got me, she brought my sweater. It's cold out here. What's the temperature? I don't know. But it's cold. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, maybe we can go out on the lake in the boat. Do a live stream and tell ghost stories on the boat. Yeah. We can fish too. We want to do. Well, it's Halloween. We're going to do a Halloween thing. Oh, okay. So we can tell some ghost stories or something. Yeah. We'll figure something out. Uh, yeah, maybe because I know I can get service out on the boat, so yeah, I, I we weren't gonna. Here. We were gonna tent at the the cemetery that we were at last year, but we didn't get no live stream over there, and it was hard. Yeah, we live streamed, and it. <clears throat> I mean, we she had to hold her phone in a certain area. Yeah, I was lucky, and it was or, it wasn't very good. Yeah. So we didn't want to do it without live streaming. Yeah. So maybe we'll just go out on the boat. I don't know, but we're definitely going to do a live stream. What time you figure? Between eight and nine. Between eight and nine, we'll do a live stream. That's tomorrow, Saturday. Today's Friday, so if you don't see it until tomorrow, it'll be Saturday. So if this is Saturday when you're watching it tonight, between eight and nine, we'll we'll go live and yeah, we'll just take the boat out on the lake then. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, 
I still, I, I haven't checked the lights out, so I don't know what's going on with the lights in the boat, but <laughs> <laughs> the nav lights work so well. The green ones mm -hmm. on the starboard side, um, half of them's gone, mm -hmm. but we do have some green ones on there, so we should be okay. So, yeah, we'll just take the boat out in, in the lake and we'll do something out there. Okay. See what's happening. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Monkey brought me this. It's cold, so I put it on. I'm heading home. I think so. it's like 65. Yeah, I don't. I can't tell because I don't get service here on my phone. Neither do I. But other people that was here, they were getting phone calls and messages. I hollered over. Yeah, you got cricket? Hell yeah, we get we get service <laughs> anywhere. I guess it's uh, Verizon. That's why. But I don't. Uh, I don't go through them because you guys know the story about that. So, over five freaking dollars. But, so now I got T Mobile and I can't get service anywhere. <laughs> you can too. Just can't get it down here. Certain spots. That's all. Yeah, certain spots that I could get. I could, I'd never had a problem anywhere. You can before. go with Verizon. You could do but, that. So, anyway, guys, that's what's happening. Caught the gore. 36 and about a quarter maybe 36 and a half but i know that that's that measuring stick it folds out and it fits in the tackle box it's 36 inches and the tail was over i don't know if you can see it in the camera or not but it was over that was big really yeah big. I, sh I showed her the clip yeah <laughs> she's wow. like you catch anything i said i caught one is that all yeah so not too long after you dropped me off so I showed her. She never seen a guard before. Mm -mm. Man, them things are mean. Yeah. She's like, "Wow, that thing's huge." I would have freaked out if I had that on the end of my tail. <laughs> on the end of your tail? Yeah, my lying tail. <laughs> Say, brother, month man, let him go for now. Like he says, she's out for now, guys. See you later. Saturday, October thirty-first, between eight and nine, we'll be out on the boat in the middle of the water. We'll tell some stories. You guys can tell some stories. It'll be cool. So stick around. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs>